So, you want to know the secret to making the perfect burk bourguignon? Well, let me tell you, it's all about the flavors. First, you start with some good quality beef, preferably chuck roast. Cut it into bite-sized pieces and season it with salt and pepper. Next, it's time to sear the beef. Heat up some oil in a large pot and brown the beef on all sides. This step is crucial because it adds that beautiful caramelization and depth of flavor. Once the beef is browned, remove it from the pot and set it aside. Now, it's time to build the base of our dish. In the same pot, add some diced onions, carrots, and garlic. Saute them until they're nice and fragrant. Then, add in some tomato paste and cook it for a minute or two. This will give our beurre bourguignon that rich, savory taste. Next, it's time to add the star of the show, red wine. Pour in a generous amount of red wine, preferably a burgundy or a pinot noir. Let it simmer for a few minutes to cook off the alcohol and let those flavors melt together. Now, it's time to bring back the beef. Add it back into the pot along with some beef broth, thyme, and bay leaves. Give it a good stir and let it simmer on low heat for a couple of hours. This slow cooking process will make the beef tender and infuse it with all those delicious flavors. Finally, it's time to add the finishing touches. In a separate pan, cook some bacon until it's crispy. Then, add it to the pot along with some pearl onions and mushrooms. Let it simmer for another 30 minutes until everything is cooked through and the flavors have fully developed. And there you have it, the perfect beurre bourguignon. It's a labor of love, but trust me, it's worth every minute. Serve it with some crusty bread or over a bed of creamy mashed potatoes. It's a classic French dish that will impress anyone lucky enough to taste it. Bon appétit!